Hey, hello, everybody. My name is Cool Blue, and I'm joined here with Half Hello. And I feel like I said I said it right. I said that right, right? Yeah, always, always. I'm coming better at this, guys. Hooked on phonics for me. Um, but yes, we're bringing you guys the Amateur Dota 2 League season number three, and this is going to be Smart Gaming versus No Earth Spirit. This is the second game, and last game we had a uh, No Earth Spirit had a very, very, very dominant early game. Um, our early game was so dominant that you could say that the game didn't ever went past the early game. Because uh, Smart did have the call early GG. Um, they had some lag issues, so hopefully they got that. Actually, no, sorry. I had the wrong size, don't I? I had that backed up. Yeah. I'm so actually feeling uh, like a... Sorry, what? Is is that back? Wait, No Spirit had... Smart had the lag issues, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Smart had the lag issues. Mm-hmm. So, but so like, I'm, I feel really okay. sad about it, you know, because the 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 drafts, the drafts were really interesting. And I wanted mm -hmm. to see them in play. And, I mean, we saw early game that actually worked absolutely out, but mm -hmm. I, I wanted to see the mid game, <clears throat> possibly a late game on that. But yeah, the lag. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, the the lag because there was an Ursa. I had to make this joke, guys. There's an Ursa who's a bear. Uh, the lag was unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Get it? Get it? I'm sorry, I had to explain too much. Anyway, but yeah, the lag was uh, the lag was not a good thing. And if the game did go late, I was still foreseeing that no Ursa would have won that game because uh, Ursa he's going he was going to get kited all day long. Punch. Yes, there's a punch. There's a get ready to see some dindy hooks. But let's talk about the bands first. <clears throat> so. Totally called it, guys. Ember Spirit first banned on the side of Smart Gaming. He did cause a bunch of issues. The fact that he got a double kill when he had like half HP and no mana and a flame guard, that just sealed the fact that, yeah, you're probably going to get banned next game. So, Ember Spirit not going to be getting picked up. OD is banned as well. And on the side of No Earth Spirit, they've been out the Invoker and uh, Doomringer for reasons that we've talked about extensively. Yep. So, we will not linger on that too long. But the picks, the picks, there was a Pudge and an Earth Shaker. So, what do you, what, like, like, do you feel excited about those? I. I Alone the Pudge pick, I'm like, with, with Meepo and Pudge, you can always get me. Like, excitement poor. <laughs> excitement pure. It's amazing. Hashtag Meepo pending? Yeah, definitely. Like, this Pudge, of course, we're going to see him mid. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Like, please, no no alternative stuff, please. No experiments. I want to see that Pudge mid. And I'm curious what he's going to lane against and if he's going to get some early action on it. And the ganks, of course, and whatever. I just want to see Dandy Hooks. That's, that's pretty <laughs> much it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they can promise you Dendi hooks because there's no Dendi last time I checked on the side of no Earth Spirit. But that said, we on the side of Smart Gaming, they picked up a Marana and a Lifestealer. And we might be seeing some nice uh, Havos type play come out from Lifestealer. Yeah. Depending on depending on what happens. I'm just saying, guys. He might go full yellow. You never know. But Lifestealer is always a solid pick. I guess mm -hmm. I guess we're going to see him on the safe lane. Uh, questionable send the Marana. Maybe the Marana even mid. The, like the Marana punch would not be... Uh, a bad matchup, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pudge hooks, Marana leaps away, but she has to get into position. She'll probably die before she's able to leap, though, because she doesn't have that much HP. But um, speaking of people who don't have much HP, there's a Weaver who got banned out, and also there's a Death Rapper who has a lot of HP. And on the other side, there's a Bane and Shadow Demon. But yeah. the Bane and Shadow Demon ban on No Earth Spirit after a Life Stealer pickup, did you think that was going to be a thing? Like, did you think they were going to pick it up? Actually, actually, yeah, it's really interesting because you have a life stealer, and like one of the worst counters against life stealer is the bane. But like instead of picking it, there's a bun coming. So, oh my god, it's totally caught it! Holy crap, guys! This I, is I Meepo Pudge gaming. <laughs> oh my god! Like, is this Christmas? Is it already December? <laughs> so oh uh, the god. Pudge pick. The punch pick was like, like as soon as you said the punch pick, was like, oh yeah, if Mipo gets picked, I'll be like super happy. Like those are ways to get to me. So um, these guys are trying to appeal to your better half, man. Maybe maybe they say, damn it, we are lagging. We probably even lose on the lag, but like we're losing with a lot of fun. And uh, that this also explains the Earthshaker pickup. I mean, the worst thing for Mipo is the Earthshaker. Like yeah, that's, that's pretty saying, much yes. the worst thing that can happen to you. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So Meepo with that 35% magic resist and Pudge with that crazy magic resist that he has, I think all the magic damage coming from Smart Gaming from Saiyan King is going to not matter at all. But they've been out of Timbersaw, which would have been very, very, very good versus the life still of Saiyan King and uh, Clockwork. So I do think that was an intelligent ban. Yep. Oh, that is interesting. A Storm Spirit. I think, think Puck's going to be picked up. But go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Hmm. Laning. No, the laning is a good question. Ooh. Storm Spirit Pudge and the Meepo. So is this going to be...
Meeple Visage, Earthshaker, Safe Lane, Pudge, Mid, Storm Spirit, Off Lane. I'm gonna say a Tri Lane with Meepo. Yep. The Pudge, Mid, Storm <laughs> Spirit. Or, like, I think Storm Spirit and Pudge can change around. Maybe the Pudge on the Off Lane, Storm Spirit on the Mid, but I mm. don't want to say this because I don't want to see it. I want to see the Pudge in the Mid, and just for that reason, I'm saying the Storm Spirit is just gonna get the Off Lane. Yeah, I mean, like, like the most logical thing could be a Pudge running mid and Storm Spirit running safe lane, which I've seen a few times. But Meepo just kind of shakes that up a little bit. Yeah. Where, where's Where's Meepo going to be? That's the main question, I think. Well, like I'm, I'm also not quite sure about uh, Smart Gaming's laning. I mean, uh, Clockwork off lane, Life Stealer safe lane, Sand King supporting that. Uh, Mirana mid is still my first guess, and I think we're gonna that get something for the try lane now. That'd be good, guys. But actually, uh, Wind Runner is going to be a uh, Wind Ranger. My apologies. Just change your name. Just like everybody else does. That's all the cool kids do these days. Next thing you know, Life Still will be Life Snatcher. And Sand King will be Sand. <laughs> sand what? What's another No, name? please, please. Don't say that. Sand. No no more sand name Kikagi. changes. Wind Ranger what, was already horrible. Come on. Dude, okay, okay, look. Wind Runner to Wind Ranger. Life Still to Life Snatcher. Sand King to Sand K um, Kokage. And Clockwork to Watch Moving. And Morana to. Melanie. Yeah, and some more fantasy names like Luna Del Rey, <laughs> Lady Aga. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> That's bad. No, now, I can't, now I can't unthink that. Okay, I do the introduction for Radiance <laughs> again. We have last hit magic, and I hope it's hook magic this game on Mr. Pudge. <gasps> we have the Visage. <clears throat> like in former game, it was Ember. We have N on the Storm Spirit. We have the Meepo. Oh, I love it. Meepo is mm -hmm. fan of Zoyon. Zoyon. Mm -hmm. And we have Stray Cat. This time, no kitty, but an Earthshaker. Yes. And on the side of SMT, on this Windrunner, or Wind Ranger, sorry, that's her, that's her official name. I'm sorry, I had to call it by that. Uh, we have Stand In Digus VZV on that Marana. Moving over to this. Wait, that's a Marana? Wait, hold on. I start off on Windrunner. What? Nah. I'm confused, guys. Digus V V Z V is on that Wind Ranger and on the Marana. That's the next person. Uh, we see Manifest on Marana. Moving over to the Sand King, we see Dan, and on this Life Stealer, we see Imperial. And last one of this on this Clockwork. Before we see action happen, we see S M T on that Clockwork. But we might be seeing some action happen. Meepo gonna get hit. The nice little damage coming out from him. Luckily, he has thirty five percent magic, but I don't. I don't think it matters when you can't run away. His first blood does go to Clockwork. Easy kill is easy, easy game. Yep, very nice. The smoke came out directly. They all five rotated. Now back to the lanes before the creeps are coming. Absolutely worth <laughs> it. First blood goes to SMT. And uh, Meepo calling live. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh well. Well, it, it, at least he spent all his gold. And the laning, very interesting. We're gonna see the patch on the off lane. We're gonna see Visage on mid. <coughs> We're gonna see Meepo Storm. Ooh. And Earthshaker as a tri lane on the safe. Support Meepo? <sighs> I don't know. It's it's interesting to say the least. We'll see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Support Meepo. There, there's some nice, interesting dynamics behind the support. Anybody who's usually not a support, like support Meepo or support Faces Void, which or support Spectre, which I've totally done before. It's totally legit. But uh, with the support Meepo, um, you can actually go for the jungle farm because he's a Meepo. He can go farm somewhere else and get his levels. Um, same thing as a Crystal Maiden, she can go farm somewhere else with the Frostbite, which lasts the three hours on neutrals. So I think a support Meepo would be cool, but Storm's going to be taking last hits. Oh, well. I mean, last game he played Lion, so <coughs> I actually think you're not even that, that off with the support play. I mean, I hope they, they, they switch from a Lion to like some sort of carry Meepo. A carry Meepo? <laughs> they could. Actually, uh, uh, sorry, we got a kill going on down, what, mid? Um, Kill mid. On top of Windrunner, Visage able to pick up that kill. Looks like Windrunner tried to pop a Windrun, and uh, Visage says, bro, I got magic damage, and she did fall down. And now it's a power shot. <laughs> Just make sure Relic doesn't get that full healing stuff. Meanwhile, on top, Pudge takes a bunt in damage, gets a kill on top of Clockwork. Looks like it was hook plus rod equals kill. Marana Arrow flies, hits a creep directly in front of her face. She's obviously drunk, so she's going to go ahead and go home. And these guys are going to disengage the fight, so... These are some but really it... unexpected kills, like a Clockwork dying to Pudge on, on level 2. And mm -hmm. the Windrunner already dying on a Visage level 2. That, yeah, called me I off mean, guard. <laughs> unexpected picks, or, uh, sorry, uh, uh, um, unexpected picks slash lanes equal unexpected kills. Yep, definitely. 
And now so we have suddenly free on the safe lane for, for uh, Dire side. Yep, we got the rotations coming in because that, that bottom lane, I mean, you don't really need everybody there. For, actually, no, no, they do need, they need everybody there. But they do need rotations because if Pudge does get enough farm, if he gets like a four-step Blink Dagger fast, I don't know what Pudge casually builds a Blink Dagger. But if Pudge is able to get a lot of farm early on... And now he can Pudge with a Haste Rune. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, we might be seeing a dead person. Rot, Haste Rune is so fun. Uh, they're actually going to go for Sand King. I don't, I don't think it's an intelligent choice. Sand King can just Bro Strike out, which he will do here very soon. Pudge, not using Rot, going to go ahead and use Rot. Waiting for Sand King to throw out the Bro Strike. Bro Strike comes through. Dan, I think he's still dead. Clockwork Flare flies. Pudge going to continue to get some damage on top of the Sand King. He has a hook left. He misses the hook, actually. So, so the hook left, and he bobbed the weave to the right. Now we got Pudge taking a bunch of damage from himself, but also taking damage from Windrun as well. Haste Rune's going to be running out here very soon at a perfect time, and I had just enough time to catch my breath. But Windrunner. <laughs> Oh, well, no, no, not, not, not able to scare him away too hard. That was a close one, actually. I mean, the Windrunner doesn't have Shackle, so there was a lot of trees around, so the perfect Shackle would have been up, but mm -hmm. not skilled yet. And that, guys, is why a lot of times Windrunners usually, like, regardless of what kind of build they're going for, they usually start with 1-1-1, because you never know you're going to need one of those abilities over the other. So why not have all three? Well, and so far, I mean, <coughs> the Visage definitely ahead now. I mean, she's uh, 15, uh, 18 and 5. Uh, of course, after the kill on the Windrunner, now ahead in level, uh, in experience, gold, everything pretty much. So, mm -hmm. this is going to be fast level 6, and I think with this fast level 6, we're going to see action. Me, hold on, hold on. Meanwhile, down bottom, we got Air from Rana. Hits on top of Earthshaker. Open wounds, ball and on top of Earthshaker, but he's still alive. Beautiful fissure. Sound, this, uh, life still going to get hit with a nice little stun. Earthshaker somehow still alive. Nobody's able to pick, uh, close the gap and finish off the kill. Meepo still in jungle. Not going to show up to help him go for the kills, but if Meepo was there, if he threw like one net and caught maybe one person, not, he didn't have to catch many people. Yep. I think that just might have been a dead somebody. And there Earthshaker was has life on the edge though ready. for the Earthshaker. We, we saw that 50 HP coming out, so... That was mm -hmm. one right click of anyone, but the storm really yeah. nice. Oh my god, the they're gonna go for it. Fissure, ah, wrong side. RNG guys are not on this side. And Meepo and Visage in mid, but Mirana scouted it out. Mm -hmm. And they're on retreat. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's around the map you see a bunch of going back and forth. A lot of posturing on both sides and a lot of very close calls on both sides, uh, relatively speaking. The only the only close calls that we haven't seen happen all the way was the one that Pudge got on Sand King. But everything else has been a close call for the most part. And there we go. Familiars are up. We saw it's just dinged level six and now it's I'm curious where he's gonna send them. Like either he's he's gonna dominate that mid further with it, or we mm -hmm. see a lot of really good Visage players. Like Visage is on one end of the map and the Familiars on the other one. So I'm curious what micro skills we're gonna see here. And he's gonna go ahead and use that micro to scout out runes. That's what Visage does. <laughs> Meanwhile, that bottom try lane on try lane, and Clockwork. I was about to say Clockwork's level six, but he's only level five. Uh, he'll be level six soon. But once he does get level six, actually, well, me was Meepo. Oh, uh, Meepo buying stuff. Never mind. I think so he knows. Really Clockwork knows. He's already on retreat. No, yeah, yeah. Knows that somebody's over around the corner, waiting for him. Oh, they, they have an observer. That's why. Very, very nice ward scouting this out. Mm hmm. And Meepo is D warding on bottom. So jungle very late though, like this ward barely had like 30 seconds left. Oh, yeah, it's still 50 gold. Yeah, true. <laughs> it, but it's still, it's, it's just half of your sentry. I mean, it's 50 gold. <laughs> and you can D ward another one if, he throws an, if they decide to throw another uh, observer ward over there. I don't know. If, if you pay like 100 gold to get 50 gold, that's. Hmm, interesting. But, I mean, he didn't know when they planted it, so it's all good. And, yeah, and oh, top man, hold on, me, meanwhile, on top, we've got uh, Pudge doing a bunch of damage. Clockwork, luckily Clockwork has his power card, so he's going to use a Pudge, not going to drop the ulti very smartly. So, so Last Magic going to wait for a few seconds, throw another hook once the battery salt runs out, which it does. And now Clockwork's officially naked, he's vulnerable, and Pudge gets scouted out by Creep, also gets scouted out by Observer Board. Clockwork going to go ahead and wait around the corner. Has a Rapple available, but no mana for him. Meanwhile, down bottom, life still actually goes down. I still actually loses. No, he loses life to ancients. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. This this attempt was was really interesting. I don't think it was attempt. It was just I need a fast way to get back to base. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly with without wasting TP, which you know that's becoming more and more popular nowadays. The the neutral suicide for transport yeah. purposes. <laughs> yeah. 
Because, I mean, you can spend 15 seconds walking back to base, or you can spend 10 seconds dead, and yeah, then TP back true. to base, or TP back to tower. And be full HP. If you had close to zero gold anyway, like, and you keep pretty much all of you got, then sure, why not? Yeah. And, like, like, the more I think about it now, the more enticing it sounds. Because, like, I mean, heck, when you come back to life, you have full HP, so you don't have to wait in the fountain to heal up. And we, we see the Visage not going anywhere, like she has so much gank potential right now and the Femis are up so early level, but I think you just want to keep going with that farm and we see Null Talisman PTs coming out. What is this going to be? Uh, uh, actually, I, ooh, yeah, actually down bottom we got Storm Spirit getting himself a pull on top of Sand King. Beautiful pause, tactical pause is tactical, but Earthshaker is already stunned up. As you see the burst like buff, deep buff is on him, but he hasn't popped up yet. Yeah, and the storm is stunned exactly at the same seconds. You see the electric mm. vortex oh, slow plus the stun. But the stun is very short duration. This was just I don't know, a couple of units away. So he's he's gonna be out within like a split seconds. Mm -hmm. And we, the and funny thing on is top. on top, oh, yeah, on top is yeah. gonna be exactly the next action. Like the but the clockwork has battery assault on. He has hookshot maybe to even get away, and he also has now one point in power cogs. But we have the Meepo luring at the tower so this could be possibly in that they wait for the assault cross to fade away and then he's pretty much an easy kill so mm. i have no idea where i should go with my camera now because i think i'm gonna miss either kill <laughs> i think down bottom sand king is gonna definitely die because earthshaker has a stun ready in five actually yeah no hold on sand king might survive um the main thing is that storm spirit he's gonna be able to do some right clicks in a few seconds once he comes out of his stun which is not gonna take a long Sand King got a stun on two people. I think the burst strike hit Storm Spirit too, or maybe it didn't. But needless to say, uh, Earthshaker, he's not going to be able to move for a few seconds. And he, uh, he won't have a stun in for five seconds. Cousin Chance had killed him. So I think bottom is a place to watch. So we got Sand King. I should go ahead, go ahead and pop that Sandstorm. Earthshaker's going to wait for his stun. He will be able to throw here very soon. Sand King will be the one to go down. And, and at the same a nice time, little... as predicted, I just managed yeah, at the to same get same time. <laughs> Clockwork down as well. <laughs> At the same exact time, are you kidding me? That coordination, guys. Yeah, Meepo going to get away home. Still fight happened that bottom. We got one run getting hit with the wall. She got hit with the wall or fissure, and she also got body blocked to death. And the GG's come out from the Marana. So SMT going to go ahead and tap out very early in this one as well. This is also a surprise. But I guess they can't deal with their lag issues. High chance that they can't. Or maybe they were just frustrated of the first game. It's like I really wanted to see that Meepo and that Pudge playing out, but like SMT doesn't do us this favor. Like very sorry guys about these short games, but yeah, I expected more of resistance here, but like apparently SMT has lag issues and therefore didn't take it so serious. Anyway, we're well, casting from Hafla TV. Yeah. I'm Hafla Moog and my awesome co caster is Mr. Cool Blue. Yes, it's me. Hello. You can find us everywhere. You see it on the overlay. You see it on the stream. Thanks for watching in. Follow, like, mm -hmm. whatever you can. Every support is appreciated.